Hello everyone. Today we celebrate Women's Equality Day. It's been 97 years since American women have been granted the right to vote under the 19th Amendment. And while this is a wonderful day to celebrate that tremendous accomplishment for equality, there's so much more that needs to be done. We need equal pay for equal work. As you may know, women generally are earning only 80 cents on the dollar compared to uh, their uh, male counterparts. And it gets even worse when we're talking about the disparity between wages of women of color, where Hispanic women are making 63 cents on the dollar and African American women are making only 54 cents on the dollar as compared to uh, white men. This has to change. We also need to expand access to affordable care and paid family leave. We're one of only two countries in the civilized world that doesn't have this. We need to make sure that we support our democratic better deal, which includes policies related to uh, family paid leave and also lowering the cost of uh, health care access. We also need to strengthen our support for women-owned businesses. While locally we have these certifications, women still are struggling to get access to government contracts uh, to be able to get access to capital and training and counseling. This is unacceptable in 2017. We can do better and must do better. I'm so blessed to have so many great uh, women who will work with us on a daily basis, both in our office and in our community. We recently got to host our Women's Round Table, where I had uh, our former Congresswoman, Pat Schroeder of Colorado, now a constituent and strong leader in our district, help host this forum with me, where we talked about the issues that were just discussed, as well as the environment, as well as education, and so many other issues that women in America and in our district are leaders on. And I would like to take a moment to highlight a few community leaders, women who are really making a district a difference here in Central Florida. Happy Women Equality Day. I'm Cheryl Grebe and I'm an Osceola County Commissioner. Prior to this, I was a city commissioner for the city of Kissimmee for eight years. I'm also a small business owner um, and I have been blessed to have been surrounded by strong women my entire life. The most notable would be my mom, who is a single mother raising four kids, uh, myself and my three brothers, and of course having the three boys, uh, she certainly had to be strong. And she taught me a lot about what it takes to be successful in business. Uh, unfortunately though, I still see, and there's still been struggles as being a, a woman in business and not necessarily having that same uh, command as sometimes men do in the same position. And it's also unfortunate as well that we still see that, that women in the same type of corporate positions as men aren't always getting the same pay. So we need to continue to fight for um, equal pay for equal work. Good evening, my friends. My name is Commissioner Angela Eady. I am the city commissioner for C3 right here in this beautiful city of Kissimmee, Florida. I am the first African-American female to hold this title in well over 30 years. It is well past due. I am honored and bestowed to hold this title. I will continue to fight for women's rights. It is well deserved. It is past due. Our preamble to the Constitution states, we the people and women, we fit that role as well. Not only in the home front, but in the corporate world as well, we demand our rights. And I, your city commissioner, will continue to fight for that. There's been many that came and fought this battle and have moved on. And I will carry that torch to continue to fight this battle. Happy Women's Equality Day. This is Anna Escalani with your local Planned Parenthood affiliate. We have 11 health centers across 22 counties, including in Orange and Osceola. At Planned Parenthood, we work hard each day to make sure every person has full access to reproductive health care so they can live a happy and productive life. And that's what Women's Equality Day is about too. Making sure that every person, no matter who you love, your income level, your creed, orientation, uh, gender identity, who you worship, that you're gonna be able to live a happy and full life. And so we're gonna keep fighting for that on this Women's Equality Day and every day after. Diane Armington is a wife, mother of two sons, and has four grandchildren. 
Diane and her husband researched the needs of the community, and in 2009, she opened the Village Kitchen Shop in the Lake Wales historic downtown area. This year, the shop received the Carl F. Derso Award for Excellence in Business from the Lake Wales Chamber of Commerce. Diane is very active in her community, sings with local choirs, and is also on the Lake Wales Main Streets Design Committee and a member of the Historic Appropriateness Board for the city. In celebrating Women's Equality Day, women entrepreneurs are critical to growing the economy. What an impressive group of women leaders in our community. Happy Women's Equality Day.